Public Service Commission, a body vested by Section 153 of the Nigerian Constitution with the sole responsibility to appoint, promote, and wield disciplinary control over officers and men of the Nigeria Police Force, with the exception of the Inspector General of Police. In this no hold bad interview, Chief Okeke talks on the constitution of this commission, which he says appoints and posts commissioners of police to the 36 states of the Federation, including the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. And what the commission is doing to make sure members of the public are educated about the activities. He also shed lights on what the commission is doing to bring erring officers and men of the Nigeria Police Force to book. Listen to him. Please introduce yourself to members of the public. Uh, I am Simon Sabundo, okay, Chairman of the Police Service Commission. Members of the public, of course, would like to know what the Service Commission is all about. The Police Service Commission is one of the 12 or 13 executive bodies created by the Constitution Section 153 of the Constitution. Uh, the Commission has the responsibility to appoint and promote all officers in Nigeria Police except the Inspector General of Police. Also, the Commission uh, has a disciplinary control over all the officers, also except the Inspector General of Police. Next, the Commission uh, appoints and, pro and uh, posts all commissioners of police to the 16, uh, 36 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital, Abuja. The commissioners of police who are commanding the states. Nigerians would wonder if uh, your commission has all these enormous powers and we still have some of these erring police officers doing things as if you don't have commission, you don't have a body that is responsible to check media excesses? Well, uh, you wouldn't be surprised at all because uh, if you bear in mind that the commission is barely two years old, it's been there since, from 19, since uh, 1960, but each time there's military inter intervention, the police service commission suffers, it's dissolved. So, uh, it's been in abeyance, not non-existent until, for the past 15 years, until uh, this uh, democratic uh, governance came into being and uh, uh, the bill the, uh, for the commission was passed into an act uh, January 2002, uh, 2001. And then the commission itself was inaugurated uh, in November 28, 2001. So it has virtually done two years' uh, work. And within two years, it's not enough to clean up the police. But efforts have been made in that direction. Can you tell us the efforts that you've made so far the last two years? The thrust of uh, the work of the commission was uh, made to bear on the officers who have been suffering from malaise arising from non-promotion over the some 10, 15 years, bearing one rank. And hence you see them going about in tattered dresses, wearing a very dull outlook and uh, no motivation whatsoever. But uh, as soon as we came on board, we started to clean up the, uh, uh, the dirty rag in the police by giving them uh, a, 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 a lease of life, making them 
feel they are wanted and part of the society, giving them promotion and also seeing that they, um, they live like human beings. Um, so we did a lot by way of promotion and uh, by way of uh, welfare we, uh, we did our best in uh, encouraging, doing our little best in seeing that uh, they are well taken care of um, as much as the economy could permit. And then, uh, the very unfortunate that uh, hitherto a police officer dies in action and if ever he gets anything, if ever his uh, uh, family left behind get anything, is so minimal, is so appalling that it's not even enough to buy the coffin for the body to be taken to the uh, diseased home. Total thing paid to the family is not enough to buy a coffin and transport the body home. How much less taking care of the those who are alive? But this has been changed thanks to the present uh, administration. Mr. President was very much supportive in seeing that something is done immediately to give them uh, a lease of life. The police now know that if they die in service, in chasing armed robbers, they happen to die, the family will be taken care of. And immediately, those left behind will get automatic cash payment of 500,000. This is unheard of. Depending on the rank or just the... The minimum. Okay. Or oh, it goes up to 1 million, 2 million, depending on the rank. So it's no more uh, business as, as usual that they are left. Before, if, uh, apart from uh, those who die and are forgotten, those who are wounded and are in hospitals, they are not taken care of. Nobody looks after them, nobody pays, uh, looks after the payment of the bill. Uh, most unfortunately, but today, it has changed. So something has been done. Thank you very much. Then, sir. cleaning up, you are, you, uh, as you said, there are bad eggs. We are taking care of that. The, uh, of course, you know that, you probably know that we have given a delegated authority to the East Virginia General Police to deal with officers from uh, constable to uh, superintendent. So bad acts there are being dealt with by him, direct. The ones from superintendent up to uh, DIG are being dealt by, by us and actually being taken very well. Thank you very much, sir. I would like to come back to that same question of bad eggs that you mentioned. You see, the essence of crime fighters, why I created crime fighters, is because I realized that there, without police force, there's no society. So it therefore means that all of us must do something to refocus our police force. You have members of the public that have, that have accosted me severally that you do this thing, yet you still have businessmen do all sorts. And when the Police Service Commission was created, it was like, oh, thank God, there is a body that will check me at the excesses of officers. We've all had uh, claims of erring policemen being disciplined. That's we're talking about the rank and file. But it is quite difficult to see most senior officers dealt with. And if you speak to these young men, they say most of the things they do, they have been asked to do it. Now, they're used as a scapegoat. Is there anything the commission has done so far to ensure that these men, who are also the workforce of the police force and are also the victim of the officers, uh, the officers are checked to some extent by the commission? Very good question. Thank you for that. Uh, we are handicapped. 
at this very beginning because the infrastructure to deal with these problems are not there, not in place. So far, we depend entirely on what the reports we get from the headquarters of the police rather than we going all out to investigate ourselves and know who is right and who is wrong. As of now, it's who the police headquarters tell us that he is wrong among the senior ones we dismiss. Who they tell us they are good, we promote. It's not quite right. And hence, the commission is now geared towards uh, establishing and equipping the investigation department so that we go all out to investigate. Again, we are we have in mind to uh, set up oversight locations in various states of the Federation. So, because we, as the oversight agent of the police, we cannot see the police just by sitting down here in Abuja and relating with headquarters, and that's the end. Then it's not it. So, the commission, if we have the sources, we intend to set up oversight agents in different strategic locations, starting from the police zones, 12 police zones, but ideally, ultimately, to have in each state of the Federation, so that we see the police directly, what they are doing. And also, we hear from the public what they can tell us about their experiences with the police. Rather than the public, the, as of now, the public have nowhere else to go other than the police uh, uh, headquarters, I mean, police uh, uh, the, um, DPO's office or the, uh, the headquarters of the command. It is not right. If the public have the access a neutral uh, location where they feel free to say their mind about their experience with the police, they will be much happier and their uh, action will be more better, more reliable information will be uh, forthcoming from them. It is always difficult to make a change from one system of doing things to another. It's never easy. If you appreciate that over 15 years, movement of officers, appointment of officers to various state commands has always been undertaken by the Inspector General of Police with the, uh, well, with support if sought of the head of the state. But today, the constitution, the law of the country says it is not going to be business as usual. It will now be done by this new body. That body is totally exclusively responsible for identifying the right officers, commissioners of police, and appointing them, commissioners, and posting them to the states where they can perform best to the optimum. It is the function of the commission exclusive function. The much the commission will get is advice from the IG. The IG knows the officers better. Therefore, it becomes necessary that he has to advise the commission, I think this officer 
will be better considered for this location than this other one. Because I know him. He knows the, the geography. He knows the people. He knows the, uh, uh, the culture more than this other one. The commission is bound to consider it. It's not bound. It's, uh, most we consider it favorably. If uh, convinced that it is a well worth advice. Now, it hasn't been getting on. It hasn't been, that pill is not, uh, it's not uh, very sweet to, uh, to swallow. So there are hiccups here and there. Fortunately, the commission is breaking the, uh, the obstacles by getting proper liaison interaction and lies in with the hierarchy of the police authority and make th making things smoother than before. Are you saying that your commission listens to complaints from members of the public? Hitherto, Nigerians believe that if you complain about policemen, nothing is done. When a complaint comes, uh, naturally, the tendency is for most people to complain to the inspector of police because he is the one that everybody knows. Mm. I accept that we have not done enough to let the public know we are there and what we, are, what we, what we do. I accept that one. So naturally, the, right, the first place, the first part of, of call is IG. Then IG will come to us and say, what can I do? So we say to him, what do you suggest? Then he comes up, I said, okay, go ahead. But, uh, I can assure you, 